we were talking right before the interview and uh, you said something that I thought was really interesting. You said that, you know, I was talking to you about how, you know, my Spanish opportunities have gone down in mm -hmm. the recent time. And you said you don't worry about losing the level in your language. I thought that was really interesting. It kind mm -hmm. of goes along with what we were saying, you know, that you... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I... People ask me, Artyom, how uh, you maintain your languages? And I respond, I don't maintain them. I don't mm -hmm. care about getting them because uh, I have one life on this planet and I'm curious about the whole world. I, I don't want to... There are people who are interested in Italy and the Italian language and they, uh, they uh, you know, um, spend uh, their whole dedication and they dedicate actually they forgot this word they dedicate their whole life to this uh culture and country and that's that's fun that's great but i want to uh not go down deep to one country but maybe learn a little bit about different cultures and for me language learning it's more than other is learning about the culture about the mentality of the people um and i already discovered something something about italy italians about spain spanish speak uh you know how you how you call it in english spanish speaking countries our countries yeah countries uh french and stuff so all these cultures are great but i want to discover something new about uh about poland about uh czech republic about uh um yeah i don't know uh sweden and uh, maybe japan and all the cultures they the world has to offer to us and of course i cannot you know go very deep into each of them because otherwise i have to spend too much time so it's always a decision uh whether you are uh, working on a language up to a proficiency to c2 Mm -hmm. which is also great and I'm inspired about people who have uh, this level in uh, different languages I don't know how they uh, <laughs> how they get there but I'm okay with have intermediate level and go to another language and I'm okay with forgetting and having my level uh, going down because this way I have more time to practice new languages right. um, and whenever I have the opportunity to again go to Italy spend there some time I can always go back to the language because once you get to intermediate level, it's not a problem for you to actually pretty fast uh, re relearn it and reactivate it. And it's very difficult to start a language from scratch and get it to the intermediate point. Uh, and it's okay, it's not that complicated once you build this core to a little bit forget it and then go back to it so i'm all right with uh not maintaining it's it's a natural uh it's a natural thing for me to do the things i'm interested about right now and i want i, I don't want languages to be this hurdle something i can i have to work on because i learned it and i have to maintain it i i think if i don't need it and i forget it Actually, it's a good job of my brain to, you know, liberating the space for something new. Right. So <laughs> you have studied a lot of language languages and some of them, maybe you didn't have some uh, success in, um, but would you, would you say that out of all the languages that you have studied, um, would, you have, would, would you have preferred to spend that time doing something else or studying another language or every language you studied, are you happy to have studied it? For example, you've studied Thai. I don't know how much effort you put into Thai or German. Uh, ab after spending some time with these languages, do you think that was time that you're happy having spent or do you think you would have distributed that in other areas 